Um, mate, got a striker of the From a TV mill that went cold from the wind through a smashed up window. You can't go out if anybody calls you, cause you can't have a bath when there's no hot water. And your friends are out on the town again, and you ask yourself. So I, I become a footballer purely, it wasn't really a choice, it was, a, it was something that I had driven in me from four years old. From four years old, I. That was the first time that I really knew that I wanted to be a footballer. I mean, my mum and dad didn't really push me in a way to say, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. It was me just wanting to do it from a, from a very young age. Uh, to, I lived and breathed football. Uh, that's all I wanted to do from getting in from school, from before school, after school, after my dinner. It was, it was football, football, football. So my, my biggest obstacle would probably be um, the realisation that I was coming to my time at Scunthorpe um, and wanting to drop down the leagues to rebuild my career. Um, it was obviously a, a very, very tough decision because we had just been promoted from League 2 to League 1. But in my mind, for me, I, I had to do it, and I'd probably say that that was that was a big obstacle that I had to overcome to drop out of the football league and, and and start rebuilding my career that way. So, the people that inspire me, are, I'd have to say, my mum, dad, and my family more than more than anything. Um, that obviously, the sacrifices that they've they've all made, mum and dad, when they were when I was young, to take me every Tuesday, Thursday training sessions, Saturday, Sunday, just giving up all their spare time to take me. And then um, my family now, my my wife, my little boy, they just you just end up wanting to do everything for them uh, to provide and give them a good life as well as, well as me. So the, the best player that I've probably played with, I've played with lots of good players, but purely for the fact that where his career's gone from where I played with him, I played with him at Peterborough, it was Ben White. Um, and he was in and out of the side at the time at Peterborough, but to see his career just boom from the moment he went back to Brighton from, from Peterborough, it's, his career's gone crazy and you could see that he had the ability and the ball that he's got and yeah he's gone gone on to Arsenal now the, the team that I support and yeah he's he's doing very very well the best player I've played against is probably Rio Ferdinand um, at Man United it's my debut for Scunthorpe in the in the Carling Cup um, and yeah, that was that was pretty special um, as a 17, 18 year old boy to to come on in that game for 20 minutes and play against arguably one of the best defenders in the world at the time and, and probably in the history of the Premier League as well. It's, it's something something that I never ever forget. So, if I had any advice for a, a younger me now, it would it would probably be to drop out of the football league sooner I was not for and realised that I was just I was just sat there really rotting and not and not doing anything and that would be my advice to younger kids as well is to, to not just be happy wearing the badge on a day to day basis and for the club that you're at you need to go and play football. I wish I'd done it for two years. positive quote that I, I live by is I've actually got it tattooed on my arm is dream as if you live forever live as if you died today and I think it's it's really important because you never know what, what's around the corner and I, I, I train and I, I think I'd like
like to think that's the way that everyone sees me. I, I train and I play as if you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'll, I'll always do that. And yeah, that's, that's, that's probably the way I play. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do it all again. Um, it's, I'll change a few things, like I've, I've already said, like dropping out of the Football League and, and doing, doing things a little bit different. Um, but it's what it's enabled me to do in life, people I've met, and um, it's obviously provided me and my family um, with obviously a, a, nice, a nice lifestyle. And um, yeah, it's something that obviously it's memories that will last a lifetime. And my, my hero growing up was, well, I've got to say, Thierry Henry because. Um, he's someone I watched from a, a young boy and I just love watching him play for, for Arsenal and, and obviously to, to see the goals that he scored and, um, but there's obviously there's other heroes out there as well it's not, not just a footballing hero but obviously like your, your mum and dad you, they're, they're the ones that, that really um, put me and enabled me to do, what, to do what I've done in my career so yeah, Thierry Henry is a, is a footballing hero and then your mum and dad is, a, is the, the real heroes out there. Sweet. You're natural at this. <laughs> I've done so many, man. That's cool. That's cool, that's like... Done. That's what you're showing me these pictures, I think. Can you see them, I think? Yeah. Um, 